Hello and welcome to Nintendo Everything. I'm Easy, and today we're going to be talking about the new Labo Toycon Vehicle Kit. And we're also going to be talking about what that means for the future of the Labo series. You see, we just kind of got announced, well, it's a little while ago now, the new Labo Toycon Kit, which is the Labo Vehicle Kit. And what this basically has is it has a whole bunch of vehicle parts, so like this, the steering wheel so you can drive this car, it has a underwater thing, it has a flying thing, all these different parts, and it's all played on this kind of adventure map type idea and I really like the idea of this one however to me it's a little bit too late <laughs> when Labo first came out I was really excited and so I went and picked up both kits to kind of give them a try and I enjoyed my time with them but I just simply didn't have the time to put all this different stuff together so I ended up just building a few pieces and then playing around with them having a good time and going I kind of wish there was more to this game and now we've got this new Labo kit, the vehicle one that I'm talking about, and there is more to this game. There's a whole lot more that we can kind of do around this island, but spending another $100, especially when I haven't put together these other pieces yet, on what looks like kind of a, I wouldn't even call it a mini game collection because there's not many mini games, it's more just driving around the island. It's not as exciting as it should be for me. So I guess question number one today is, are you guys going to be picking up the new Labo kit? And if not, what would it take for you to buy some sort of new Labo? what would this new Labo have to come with? Which kind of brings us into the second point I want to talk about. What does this mean for the future of Labo? Because now that we've got this second kit, it's got me thinking. Now that original trailer that we saw, we actually saw a bunch of Labo shown off in that. And th the, these vehicle pieces were actually shown off in that new trailer. And so it, there's actually a few pieces in there that we still haven't seen. There's a bird that you see flapping around and seeing someone holding it like this going, woo woo. <laughs> I don't know what that is. We also saw a camera. Um, I'm not going to do actions for each one of them. And you saw a kind of excavator arm. Now this one I can kind of do. So it's like this arm that kind of did this. And I don't know what that's... My assumption, the reason I call it an excavator arm, is that I'm thinking maybe it's some sort of like machine that you control with it. I don't know yet though. And then we also saw some sort of pedal which you can't see my feet so there's no point in me acting that one out. Um, but all these things together, it's got me thinking, is this going to be some sort of kit that all comes together like we've seen this new one? Or are these kind of separate pieces? And as we've seen so far, they've all released in kits. And so it doesn't seem like all these pieces would fit together, but I think some of them actually do. So the ones that I think fit together might be the bird, the camera, and the third one that I actually didn't talk about before, which was a gun, or some sort of gun that we saw. I, I don't actually think it's a gun, I'm going to go into that in a second. So these three pieces, I think, are going to be some sort of safari set. So what we're seeing here is a bird with the camera on the back. So I'm guessing you're going to be able to fly around maybe some sort of island again as this bird. Then we also saw the camera. And I'm guessing this is going to be for like taking pictures of certain animals or other things that we're going to see around this island. And then the last one that we saw that, that I was talking about is the gun. And I don't think this is a gun. I'm thinking this might be some sort of safari net shooting thing. So you can actually go around and capture the animals with this. Uh, that's just my assumption. I'd love to hear if you guys have any different opinions. As for the last two, the pedal and the kind of excavator arm, maybe it's going to be some part of some sort of excavator, so like some sort of digging thing. Although I really don't know with those two. That's a bit, that's, they're a bit confusing to me because the, the pedal just seems to be flicking this thing up at the top and I don't know what that, what that would do. Like maybe fanning yourself with this pedal is <laughs> maybe what they're trying to pull off. I really don't know. I don't think this is actually going to be the last that we see of Labo because as I said before, we've seen these things in the opening trailer. Now, obviously, they've put research and development time into actually building these, and so it's unlikely for Nintendo just to say, we're going to throw them away. I don't think that Labo is going to sell anywhere near the amount that the initial sales saw, but I don't think that Labo is going to go away, or at least until they've got these last units out the door and see how they do. So we have this new vehicle Toy-Con kit coming out in September. My guess is that we might see one more before Christmas, and if there is going to be one more after that, which I'm not sure if these are going to be two separate packs or not, then there may be one in early next year and to kind of see out the financial year. Anyway, I think that's kind of going to do it for today's video. Apart from some final thoughts here. Labo has been an extremely fun thing for me to play around with, even as an adult. Just putting it together has been something that's kind of like, just one of those wow moments in, in gaming, which is really weird because it's not really gaming. But it certainly has been a lot of fun. And so when I say that I'm not going to pick up this last kit, We'll wait to release date and actually see whether I can hold to my word because that still might happen. So final question for the day, what do you guys think of this new Labo kit? Is the, the whole island idea something that excites you? Would you like to play that island without actually having to buy this big kit of all this cardboard? Or maybe is it something that like 
maybe the Nintendo IP not being inside this game is something that's holding you back. I mean, I know that's the reason that a lot of us play Nintendo games in the first place, is that we're attached to the IP, and that's what attracts us to the brand. Which makes it even more strange, the fact that they haven't pumped any of their IP into this yet, apart from like some of the sticker sets and things like that that you can buy. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and as always, like button, subscribe button, you do do, you do do. <laughs> Remember, like button, subscribe button, you do you, and for everything Nintendo, stay tuned to Nintendo Everything.